Welcome back to Half A Hot Rods. If you haven't been here before, I'm Adam. I'm here to just show you that you don't have to have a bunch of money, time, tools, or a, actually really even a whole lot of skill to have a good time with old cars and trucks. What you see behind me is my 57 Chevy pickup. I've been for about 18 months now working on putting it on a 97 chassis, working on it one day a week here and there, sometimes a full day, sometimes not. Sometimes a couple days if I get lucky. And we've done multiple videos talking about which bed we're going to put on it. Originally I didn't think the truck was going to come with a bed, so I had one plan in my head. Then I got it and it came with a short bed. So then I started having some other ideas. I actually did a whole video on all the different ideas I've been considering with this. And I think we finally made a decision. Uh, yeah, we definitely made a decision. But, as usual, it was a little more than I thought it was going to be as far as work to get it. So, come on along as we get it here, get it inside, start getting some measurements made, and working on fitment on this. Oh wow, look at that color. Yeah, that's the original color of the truck. That's the original color? Yeah. How come it looks so much better? Because like it's, deeper? It's a, they put a different type of clear coat on it. Okay. The whole truck's been painted, yeah. You know? Probably been wet sanded and buffed and wet yeah. sanded and buffed. Well, they call it a 10 pound not a paint job. So. Yeah, I believe it. Paint, yeah, so. yeah, it's a good truck, you know. See, you know. V8? Yeah, it's a 5.3. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's Pretty that's nice. fun that's, little pickup. That's the motor that's going in that truck out there. The one right out there? Because yeah. that's, what is that, late 40s, early 50s, this black one out here? 54 model, same as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's a 5.3. Yeah, they, don't, they run good stock, but man, it don't take much to oh, make yeah. them really get it. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, this truck was ordered with a positive track and a 
and a five three and a tow package and a and a roll up windows, you know. So got three seventy threes in the back? Yeah. Oh, it'll get them. Yeah, it's pretty. He don't never. He drives it like it's a well, baby. Well, I, I bought it when it had fifteen thousand, but it's got a hundred seven thousand on it now. But. I mean, it'll. Yeah, it's a. With three seventy threes, they'll get down. My son's yeah. got an extended cab, and okay. it it does okay. But uh. This shop right here is not air conditioned. No problem. Yeah, you can. Yeah, see, this has got like a Camaro front in. Okay, so they stubbed it in. <coughs> you can see where it's. Yeah, yep. we got to do some more welding. Yeah. We, uh, Somebody just threw this body on here, but yeah. it's a pretty clean body, you know. I mean, yeah. It's a lot better shape than my 57, I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah Somebody just threw still, this on. It's still pretty solid, you know. It's got, I think, a place here that's rusted, you know. My, my 57 was quickly becoming one with the earth. It was. Everywhere those have rust, mine has rust, oh, okay. and it's bad. Well, I remember one of these trucks when I was about five years old, and this, my Uncle Alf and Aunt Ibby had a truck like this, and they sit right side by side, and you could, when we come around them, they, they were like that, and I thought that was so cool. They was in love. I didn't find out until a few years later that she was helping him drive it because they was both a little big. Enough, <laughs> took both of them to drive it. So, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I thought that they loved each other and they were just driving the truck. We just don't want to crash. <laughs> <laughs> they loved each other enough to drive. So. That's five window too. So. Yeah, that's five window too. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. neat. We're, uh, we're in the product. Okay, so I've been out here just trying to do a little stuff to get the truck ready to accept the new flatbed. Started taking some measurements, and it kind of looks like the rails on the bottom of the flatbed aren't going to match up with the frame rails like I thought they would, even though they also came off, that bed also came off an OBS truck, which should be the same. So I'm getting ready to rig up a frame so to speak out of some lighter material so I can set it on here and actually see how it's going to match up. I know it's 34 inches wide front to back under the bed. Problem is this frame kind of goes woo. And how did that go again? Woo. So it may be close enough that it's still going to match up but I got to look at it and figure out because there's brackets coming down off those runners on the bottom of the bed. And I'd rather cut them off while they're on the trailer, while it's on the trailer, than drop one of those brackets through my fuel tank. So, we're going to rig something up here and see what we can do. So, I need, I got my long pieces, now i got to find cross pieces. I'm going to go out to the truck and measure them one more time. I'll be right back. Alright, so, the outside is 34. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work at all. There's got to be some crossbars, I guess. That's the only thing I can figure is there's supposed to be some crossbars, because otherwise this thing's going to hit everywhere. It's got a cutout, it looks like it could be for this, but there's not one on this side. So that's probably not what that is. It's probably just the scrap pipe they used to build it. Oh, I really thought this was just going to drop on here and work. I drop it on and bolt it down. I almost took the truck over there to just drive it under it. I'm glad I didn't do that. I guess we need to crawl around under that bed and see if there's rub marks where there's cross braces. Maybe that's what it was. Let's go look. We're about out of time for today. I gotta go to work today. Let's go look though. Let's see see what we see. Really don't like the idea of rolling around under this thing, but 
it's stacked up on wood blocks, so it really should be okay. Kind of looks like it just rode on the frame the whole way. Let's see if we can see more from the front. Yeah. So how is my frame so different from that other OBS truck frame? Or did he never actually get it mounted on that? suppose that's a possibility too or I don't know I had some channel on top of there those look like I don't know I don't know but I don't think this is just gonna drop on there like I was hoping of course it's not why would it I wouldn't know what to do if things just went easy some figuring to do because this isn't just going to sit on top of the frame rails and it's narrower than the frame rails this thing is heavy built just not 100% right from what I need. And you don't give it all when you bang your head on it. So, it's not just going to come off there and go on to the pickup like I'd hoped. So I guess we can wipe that off the list for this week. It's too bad I already cut my battery mount off because I was kind of hoping to take this truck to a, a show as a work in progress this week. Uh, I mean, the simple solution is to add cross beams, right? But that means buying more steel, which I really didn't want to do. And it's got to be high enough to get everything over these guys. And is my fuel pump going to be in the way? Oh, I got a bunch more measuring to do. I'm going to do that, and I'll come back to you guys once we figure out how to unfoul up the situation. All right, be back soon. Okay, I might have figured out what they did. Um, so I went out, well, I measured here and I put tape on here so we could both see it, you guys and me. Marked center in the back, marked center in the front, and then I marked the center of the tube that's under that bed on both sides. And I think I mashed it up doing other stuff there. So it looks like the tube will sit on these cross members, which is not what their original purpose was, but I think they should be strong enough, at least temporarily. What I'll probably do is add brackets from the actual frame up to it, um, just to add more strength. I mean, for to roll around the shop here, I think that'll be fine. And then I... Uh, after I marked that out, I laid the level on here, and it'll clear just barely the shocks. Well, you'd never get them out of there without lifting the bed, because you wouldn't get to that bolt, or that one probably. And then this one will clear the fuel pump have to drop the tank to get the pump out which I was really hoping to avoid but there's also a hole in that bed uh, but no the pipe will be in the way so the hole won't matter all right um, so I got my jig re-rigged here so that hopefully it'll set on there let's try that and see what it do set this on the centers that pipe's four and a half inches diameter so It'll set a little different than this, but should be pretty 
very close. And then the only question is going to be, how's the bed going to look for level? Uh, I know I measured the inside mounts on the bed will slide in between here, which is fine. We'll let them do that. That'll get them going side to side for now. And then the back mounts won't interfere because there's no frame rail there for them to interfere with. That other one must have had a longer frame. And then up here, we're going to have to cut at least that side off because I don't want to put a hole in the fuel tank. So I guess we'll go lay under that bed and zip zing this side off. And then in theory, I think that bed will set on here. Uh, it's, it's not quite as bad as I initially thought now that I'm getting deeper into it. And we can always space it up if we need to. Um, but what I'm hoping to do I could do a lot of messing around with cherry pickers and jacks and maybe get it off that trailer. But I'm pretty sure that thing weighs 2,000, maybe 2,500 pounds. And even if I did manage it safely, uh, it's probably, it would take all day. Now, I have a couple friends with big enough tractors to lift that bed off and set it on this truck and be done. So, I may have to try and employ their help. We'll see how their calendar lines up with what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, I think it will fit on there, but I'm going to have to go chop a mount off underneath that bed, which is not going to be a good time because I think it's half-inch thick steel. So, cutoff wheel is just, she's going to be putting in work. And with it out there on the trailer, I'm probably going to have to do it with a cordless. So, yeah. So, I guess that's next up. And then uh, I think we'll have this chassis almost ready for the first test fit. Really, I'm hoping we can set it on here and be, it'll be close enough that we can roll it around and move and adjust and jack and lift and lower without taking it completely off again. Because that thing is heavy. So. It's going to try and come this way, probably, maybe, I don't know. Wait off the front. Uh -huh. Oh, now it's got it. Cherry picker, yeah. Yeah, it'll be alright. Go ahead and recreep it up. No. 
I'll get a further bite over it. Get over it. Just crib yeah. the front again and yeah, because the way I got it now, I can probably slide forward and take all the way. Grab the whole thing. You're free! A little bit more, and then you can drop it. The hit fall on the bed. Whoa! Now come back. A little bit, a little bit up, a little bit back as you're coming down because that hitch falls between the rails on your grill. Now down a little. Okay, you're going to be good now. It's a heavy bugger. The bed's still on the ground and the tractor is not. He's a brave man.
That was a little hairy for a minute there. We'll be back. Okay, so we got it in. I mean, nobody got hurt. That's the most important thing. And we didn't damage any equipment or the bed, really. Uh, we did do a little bit of damage to the bed. I take that back. But I think with a little heat and a little gentle persuasion, we can get it back. This been a little bit, ouch, been a little bit with uh, just uh, running the chains over it. But uh, since I last was out here taking video of this, I spent some time with the big cherry picker, which is over yonder way the old one, picking up the front of this and stacking blocks. And I had to do it one side at a time because this thing's so heavy it won't pick up the whole thing at once. And we've got it up pretty high, almost high enough that it'll go over the tires, but not quite. So I think <laughs> what I'm gonna have to do is, oh, and also these block stacks are not far enough apart for this to go under so we're gonna have to pull all the duels off put the truck down on the drums on these little roller skates and that'll get it lower but also for that to even work we're gonna have to move these blocks out and I've got a piece of square tube to put across there to hold it up so that it's wide enough to even let the drums and stuff get under so yeah there's still a significant amount of work to even get the truck under it uh, meanwhile Wyatt and I have been kind of spitballing ideas on what we're going to do uh, the bed is not going to go on the truck well it's going to go on it as it sits and then it's going to get modified because I think it would be cool the way it is but I think it would be even cooler with some changes so we're going to work on that. Uh, big thanks to our friend Mr. Pickett. Uh, he is a very busy man. He works more than anybody I know. The guy's always working, but he found time to come down and help me out with his big tractor. And wouldn't take any money for it, which I kind of expected. But I, I tried to pay him, but he wouldn't take it. He's like, oh no, we're friends. This is something I want to help out for. And... <laughs> I'm like, dude, we could have stopped at any time that you thought that wasn't safe. And he's like, oh no, I operate like that all the time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, three wheel action and a tractor on a side hill. I, the thing is, I don't doubt him. I believe he does operate like that all the time. But we got it in here. No damage to equipment or people. And uh, yeah. Got it blocked up. I want to say we're almost ready to get it back on there. Been working on buttoning up some other stuff under the hood. Off camera. I'll update you on that soon. And, yeah, we're just plugging along on this. And this bed was 400 bucks. And let's look at the steel on this thing. Let me, I mean, you guys have seen underneath it a little bit. This thing is built out of all, I think that's 3 16 And it is heavy. Everything on it is heavy duty. So I don't think I could have bought the materials for this bed for 400 bucks. These deals for holding pipe while you cut it, I'm pretty sure have some decent value. I don't need them. They won't be staying on there with me. Uh, but to the right person, I think they have some value. It's got them on both sides. I have to look them up. I mean, they're they're kind of neat looking, but that's that's not the style I'm going for. So there it is. And we'll get a little more walk around video of it. But it's uh, she's heavy duty. I mean, you can see this is super thick. This is another piece of pipe. <laughs> the welded on hitch is a nice touch. I mean, yeah, it's it's a nice bed. These uh, for the I think it was a gin pole bed at one time, or a setup to use gin poles. 
I don't know how much of that's staying. But we're getting closer. I finally made a decision. Well, most of a decision. Now we got to get the bed on there and then we can make more decisions. So, as always, I appreciate you watching. If you like what we're doing, click like, subscribe, check out some of our other videos. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. We'll see you next time.